We are now 19 games into our league season and I've got to say, I am pleasantly surprised. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of games to go through. We are going to fly them through them very quickly. The first of which was a 4-0 home win against Notts County. Pierce, Ballas with a brace, Pierce. Next one was a 2-1 away win against Sheffield United, Vasilovic and Giannin with the goals. We got absolutely crushed in the next game. Cardiff City were bottom of the table at the time of playing and they beat us 4-2. We bounced back though with a huge win 6-1 at home against Burnley. We then cruelly got knocked out of the League Cup in the second round against Crystal Palace on penalties. We bounced back though with a 3-0 away win against Derby County in the League. A 1-0 away win against Swansea followed that. A 1-0 home win against Stoke City followed that. I think they were top of the league at the time of playing as well. But then we got beat 1-0 at home against Ipswich Town. Again we dominated but didn't score. We then went away from home against West Brom and got beat 3-1. Uh, no, we didn't. We won 3-1. We then drew 1-1 against Everton. They were not top, but pretty close. And we went down to 10 men 25 minutes in. So the fact that we got a one all draw is absolutely superb. 2-1 away from home against Blackburn Rovers. 1-0 win against Crystal Palace. Revenging. Uh, <laughs> revenging. Avenging the League Cup defeat. 4-1 away from home against Redden. A very, very good game and a very, very good win. A one all draw at home against Sunderland, not ideal, especially in a game we did dominate. We then smashed Portsmouth at home 4-0, Rodriguez, Pierce, Ongol, Vasilovic. And finally was a 0-0 away draw against Brighton and Hove Albion, which takes us to today, where we will be facing Watford and Millwall. Of course, Millwall recently relegated, and Watford, although they're sitting in third, they're pretty much top Um just down to the, the amount of games played. They have two games in on hand against top of the table Stoke City right now. So they could go four points clear from them. But of course we have a game in hand against Stoke as well. So we could be, let's presume Watford win both of their games in hand. They'll be three points ahead of us. But that takes, that's why we needed to come back today. This is a massive, massive game in the chase for automatic promotion. But this is why I'm really pleasantly surprised. Playoffs are looking an almost guarantee at this point. I know we're only... What's that, 12 points clear from Portsmouth in 7th? But at this stage of the season, being 12 points clear from that place, it's pretty good. We have agreed one new signing who will be joining us in January. I'm having a bit of a struggle with me strikers and this guy popped up available for £1.1 million. Alez Dabanovic from Maribor and he is absolutely fantastic. Here we have him. He's really well-rounded. He's only 20 years old. Already got 18 caps for the Slovenian national side. Again, someone we can definitely develop uh, for the second half of this season anyway. And it definitely fills in a bit of a problem position for us. If we go to the selection info, our strikers, um, they're not even our top scorer. Our top scorer is our centre-half. <laughs> I tell a lie. Our centre-half is the second top goal scorer. Giannin has only got six goals in 16 starts. Uh, we have been given Shuto Shoji some game time. He's not really doing it up front for us either. So, uh, yeah, striker is the one position in the squad where I'm not very happy with how things are going. But in terms of the rest of the squad, defence, we are superbly solid. We've been doing very well defensively. Uh, our wingers, I'm relatively pleased with. Jason Westbrook came back from injury and he's been doing pretty well. And then, of course, Lee Pierce as well. He suffered like a six-week injury. Uh, so he was out for a little while. Yeah, it was six weeks, strained knee ligaments. Thankfully, he's back now and uh, hopefully he can get back into some good form. But that's enough chit-chat about the squad. Let's get to today's game. We are going to drop a Gian in for today. We're going to give Shoji the chance up top. So the only change really to our strongest first 11 is Balas, who's currently suspended. One of our centre-backs who we, of course, signed in the summer. He's been having a pretty good season. But uh, Guerrero is more than capable enough of coming in and doing a good job for us in the championship. Watford, different level. Um, they are probably the favourites to win the title. They've got Adam Ida. That's the problem. He will score today, mark my words. But having a look through the rest of the squad, not too many familiar names. Blenkinsop has been a player I've chased in the past. Uh, now worth £44 million. English striker, absolutely phenomenal. Wanted by Arsenal, Norwich and Spurs on one hundred and five grand per week. Now, bearing in mind, we are spending about 400 So he is on 25% of our entire, entire wage budget, which is a little bit ridiculous. Was that Makedo? Have I completely missed that? Is that our former man Makedo? It is not. It's a, it's a different for Makedo, but he's just as good. So the reason why I came back now was obviously Watford being one of the top sides, but also Millwall. Um, they got promoted alongside us with Leeds United. 
uh, and got relegated in the first season. So I'm imagining they've still got a pretty good squad to speak of. Great save by Agu there. He's actually been pretty good in goal, Agu. I've been pleasantly surprised with the performances we've been able to get out of him. First 20 minutes or so, uh, it's, a, it's a bit up and down. Nobody, nobody quite putting the stamp on this game. If it is going to be a side, though, it does look like it could be Watford. But 31 minutes in, we have our first proper highlight. Westbrook can't whip the ball in and Blenkinsop can come down this left-hand side for Watford. Delby, our defensive midfielder, does very well to get back. And as long as we don't mess this up at the back, we should be fine. Pinter drives down this left-hand side, completely overtaken Pierce. And he's got himself to the byline, whips it in and Westbrook. And he goes close. But a pretty uneventful uh, first half comes to an end. Watford nil, Nottingham Forest nil. I'm relatively content with this. If we can get a draw away from home against one of the best sides in the league, that is obviously a very positive sign for our chances uh, come the rest of this season. But we have ourselves the first highlight of the second half. Comes 50 minutes in. Oh, we give the ball away really sloppily. And Adam Ida sets away Rossetti. He's in behind. Good save by Agu. Can we get there first? We can't. Watford keep the chance alive. Thankfully, we block the cross and it goes out for a corner. Croissants plays the ball in. Back post, blank and sop. Agu with a good save. So Watford have definitely come more and more into the game as time has went on. So we'll look to make a couple of changes. We'll bring on George Hard on that left-hand side for Lee Pierce. We will look to bring on Adam Lewis for Lucas Pinter at left-back. And um, I wouldn't mind maybe bringing on Florian. See if he can make the difference for us again. Not a lot coming out of our strikers today. 17 minutes to go. Are either side going to break the deadlock on this one? George Hard switches the player. It gets cleared. Howard keeps it alive. Back to Delby. Come on, Armando. Let's see what you can do. Out of Pierce on the edge. Rodriguez. Oh, well, somebody shot. Lewis picks up the ball on the left-hand side. Keeps the ball in. What's he going to do with it? Back to Hard. Back to Rodriguez. And Max Rodriguez, our signing from Liverpool in this summer, gets his fifth goal of the season from central midfield. And puts us 1-0 up with only 16 minutes remaining. And if we can hang on to this, this will be an absolutely huge win. Lewis does incredibly well to keep the ball in. Into hard, into Rodriguez. And the keeper has no chance. Westbrook with the corner. Plays it in back post and Giannin was there. And he goes just over the bar. Another free kick now. Giannin is the man to take it. It does get cleared by Watford, but it's back out to Giannin. Come on, Florian. What can you do on this left-hand side? He cuts in. Out to Lewis. Adam Lewis. I will back up left back with a hell of a goal, getting his third goal of the season. Putting us 2-0 up and well in control of this game now with only 13 minutes on the clock. Florian looks like he's done some good work since he's come on the pitch. So maybe we'll bear that in mind for the Millwall game. And uh, this will be a huge win this. Unfortunately, there is a highlight straight after kickoff. So uh, maybe Watford are about to spring into attack. Oh, nice player Adam Ida down this right hand side. He tries to whip it in. Westbrook is there. Covering though, but they do find those uh, find it to the left hand side for Molina and Adam Ida. Well, I put my money on him scoring a dear, not with that head. So Watford have gone pretty very very attacking right now. So we are going to go on the cautious team mentality, see if we can potentially catch them on the break. And this is the exact situation why Max Rodriguez can bring the ball out. He's only got Florian to aim at, so he sort of holds the play up a bit as he gets some more support from the likes of Lewis, and we give the ball away. Delpy with a long ball over the top. Florian has beat the offside trap. He goes for goal. It's a bit of a team shot. Only three minutes to go in this game. Surely the game is dead and buried and we're getting three points. We'll have to wait and see how this goes. Obviously, if Watford get one back, it will be a nervy last couple of minutes. But we're keeping possession well. Hard combining with Lewis on this left-hand side with the help of Pierce in the centre. It's whipped in. Oh, Delpy. That would have been goal of the season without a doubt. And there we have it then. Watford nil. Nottingham Forest 2, an absolutely fantastic performance from the boys against one of the best sides in the league. Now what do you bet we get beat at home against Millwall? So Millwall are the team we are facing next. They are not too far outside the playoffs, currently sitting in ninth position on 28 points. But after that win against Watford, we do see ourselves rise to top of the table. I'm not sure if Stoke maybe dropped some points there. We'll have to check that out later. So Watford come at us with a very similar formation. Any names we really recognise here. The likes of Dennis Mann and stuff we do. But none of our former boys playing for Millwall, I don't think. So we get to kick off a definitely a different challenge to what we faced against Watford. We are favourites for today's game. And being at home, we've had pretty decent home form so far this season. So hopefully we can continue with that as Aziz picks up the ball from Florian. 
I keep saying Florinin. It's not Florinin, it's Florian. And then Giannin. Delby picks up the ball in the centre of the park. Plays it back to Bas Ballas. Uh, to Guerrero. As long as we don't lose the ball here, we're absolutely fine. And you can keep playing it about as much as you want. And Pinter gets the ball on the left-hand side. Eventually drives into the box. He whips it back post and Westbrook is there. And Jason Westbrook gets his fifth goal of the season. And puts us 1-0 up 13 minutes in. Some nice player by us in the midfield. Feeding Pinter the ball on the left-hand side. Thankfully, he's clever and he doesn't go for the strike. He goes for the cross. And Westbrook is there to take advantage. P.S. One of our best players so far this season, Shane. He has picked up a knock. He will have to go off the pitch. We'll put Aziz in attack and midfield. We'll bring on Max Rodriguez. Um, I was looking to rest him maybe for this game as uh, he was a little bit tired after the last one, but we need him pretty early on. Aziz with the corner for us. It's whipped into the near post. That's a, well, it went in the back of the net, ref. Why are, you, why are you giving us a penalty? We've just scored. This is an advantage. This is a disadvantage. Armando Harewood steps up. Thankfully, he puts it in the back of the net. We <laughs> Dodgy refereeing decisions in the championship. And that is going to be it for the first half. Nottingham Forest 2, Millwall 0. We're not playing incredibly well. Um, it looks like a pretty even game so far going by the match stats. But obviously, Millwall haven't really created anything. First highlight the second half comes 55 minutes in. Florian's in behind and that is why we've signed a new striker. Another highlight now, 60 minutes in, we win the battle in the midfield, thankfully. And we come away with a Guerrero from centre-back. Uh, getting a bit too far forward there, mate. You're getting a bit of a nosebleed, I can see. And Delpy switches the plate to Howard on this right-hand side, whips it in. Oh, Pierce goes close. Now, the problem is we've got two Pierces in the first 11. Different spellings, but I believe it's the same pr pronunciation. Correct me if I'm wrong, as Millwall get one back. While Sam busy talking about pronunciations. Luke Sanders with his first goal of the season. Of course it's his first. He's playing us. Tommaso Agostinelli with the uh, assist. It comes from a corner kick. We're not, mar we're not marking very well at all. Everybody basically on the bloody line. We will look to make a change. Lucas Pinter can come off for Adam Lewis. And in terms of maybe Jason Westbrook coming off. We'll bring on George Hard. Because he, you know, he's solid. Time is just ticking away in this one. Not a convincing performance by us by any stretch. And we haven't won it yet. And we haven't won it. Oh dear. Michael Oliver with his fifth goal of the season. Two set-piece goals conceded. It is typical Millwall. And uh, it's a hell of a header as well. We'll go attacking for the final few minutes. But it's probably a little bit too late. And we suffer a draw. We beat Watford. And then we draw against Millwall at home. Well, who, uh, we've got plenty of games still to go. We can bounce back. So after that result, then we do drop to second place. Stoke must have won their game. Watford won in their game as well. So they can go back above us if they win their game in hand. But we are still 12 points clear from Portsmouth in seventh. That's what we're focusing on right now. Making sure we can guarantee ourselves playoffs. And then anything beyond that is an absolute win. So in the next episode, then it will be the January transfer window. We do have a lot of games to go for in between. So we'll get an even better sense of where we are going to finish at the end of the season after these run. But that is going to be enough from me today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. We're trying to get there a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. And if you're still here at this point and you're not subscribed yet, I mean, you, you're committed. Watch until the, the very end of the episode. I thank you very much. But anyway, until next time, take it easy.